How do we freeze a clip in CapCut? I'm in CapCut for desktop on PC. This is version 4.6.0, beta test version 3, but this process hasn't changed in quite a few updates, so it should all be the same. I've got this clip here of this guy skating, and I think I want to freeze it right at the top. So I'm going to come down to the timeline. I'm going to move my playhead to right where I want to do the freeze. And I want it to be neutral, where he's not going up, he's not going down. It's just kind of like where he hits the peak. So let's say right there. So that's where my playhead is. That's where I'm going to make the freeze. And then I'll just come over here to these buttons on the left above the timeline. And I'm looking for this one that says freeze. So I click that button. And now it has created this freeze clip. Now this is going to be an image clip. The part before it, before where I put my playhead, that's video. This is now an image. And then the part after it, the video continues. So if I play that through, he comes up, we freeze. It'll stay there as long as that clip is. And then it continues on. Now I can change the length of that. It by default is three seconds. And you can change that if I only want it to freeze for a second. I just make it smaller and then drag this other one in so that the freeze is shorter. I can completely remove it from there. And then I can either put these two back together or I can just delete this end and then drag this end back out. Freezing is a super handy technique when you have action shot like this. You've got the motion, he's going up and then right here, this is where you want to say something. You want to describe what's about to happen. You want to tell the viewer what to watch for or you want to pop some text up there and maybe do some kind of effects or something and just sort of seize and focus on that moment for a second. But for those of us that do how-to videos and software videos, there's a lot of use for freezing as well. Right here in this video is an example. So looking at this clip along the bottom, which is where I'm showing the screen, this is my screen recording, if you pay attention to those titles, this spot right here is video. This is where something's happening, but it's taken me a little longer to explain it than the length of the video. When this clip was together, I just stopped right here at this point and came up and clicked that little freeze button. And that got me this freeze image. You can see it says freeze right there. And then the clip continues on. This is video. Things are moving and happening. And then I have another freeze so that I can get the timing right. And on down the line, you can see that in this particular video, I did that quite a bit. I must have went way too fast when I was recording the screen. I did this one in sort of a weird way that I don't usually do. I recorded the screen and everything. And then I went back and played my screen recording and explained everything that I was doing which I should never do it that way because it doesn't work out and I end up having to do all these freezes, but it's handy when you need it. Let me show you a couple of tips about using the freeze in CapCut. If I come to the end of a clip and I come to the last frame, I go over here and click the little freeze button. So now I've got my freeze. So this is a case where I don't need to stop it in the middle, but I need that particular clip to just stay on the screen a little bit longer than it does for whatever reason. If we zoom in on that, what you'll notice is that I didn't get right on the very last frame so there's this little sliver over here at the end there it is right there it's one frame at the end that's sort of left over now i don't need that i can just delete that and move on but if you have your timeline zoomed out maybe to even this level that little sliver can be really hard to spot and the way i usually find it is when there isn't another clip after this so let's move this one down so i started with my clip i did my freeze i go okay i need this freeze frame longer than that let me grab this. Well, it won't drag out what's going on. And that's how I realized that I actually have this little teeny sliver here that is hard to see unless you zoom all the way in. For the most part, just delete that and move on. Another thing to keep in mind when you're using the freeze is wherever you are on your timeline, let's just click right here and we'll select this clip and we're going to do a freeze. Pay attention right about here. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and drop a marker. So this is currently where the clips change. I'll drop it right there. If I select this clip, 
Got my playhead here. This is where I'm gonna do my freeze. I click the freeze button. It just pushes everything on the timeline out further. So it'll move everything out. Now, if you're only dealing with one track, that's all you've got on your timeline, not a problem, probably what you expected to happen. But if you have other layers, different video tracks, you have some stickers, you have some text, keep that in mind because you'll push out the track that you're doing the freeze on. And now it doesn't line up with where you put your stickers and your text and the other things that you've got going on in other tracks. If you've got any questions about freezing a clip in CapCut, by all means, put them in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you found this video helpful and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.